My name is Mitchell Harp. I'm the, the Dean of Apprenticeships at Trident Technical College in Charleston, South Carolina. And um, my team serves as an intermediary for the Charleston Regional Youth Apprenticeship Program. Um, and I'm very excited to, to talk to you about a uh, new tool that we're using um, as an intermediary to help our employer partners run their youth apprenticeship programs. Um, what is my apprentice? Well, so it was about a year and a half ago. One of the hardest, actually, let me, let me step back a little bit. Um, one of the hardest jobs as an intermediary that I've found, and I've been doing this for about 11 years, is to help our employer partners track the on-the-job training that they provide for our apprentices. In, in other words, the work processes or the competencies that they're required to learn to complete their apprenticeships. Um, we're very good at helping design the apprenticeship and identifying those competencies and giving them manual checklists, but actually tracking the competencies has always been a challenge for us. So about a year and a half ago, I was sitting in a colleague's office and we were talking about this problem. And he told me about the apprenticeship that he went through 20 years prior to that. Um, he said that when he got to his apprenticeship, the employer gave him the plan of what he needed to do to complete the apprenticeship, but also gave him a little black book and said that he was required to actually journal um, everything that he was doing over the next four years so they could use that to assess him at the end of the apprenticeship. And I thought it was a brilliant idea with the exception of being a black book. So um, being um, that kids these days had phones, I thought of the idea of well, why don't we develop an app to actually let them do this. Um, so really my apprentice was, was born based on, on that idea and that conversation. So what is My Apprentice? Uh, my Apprentice is an app that uses technology to track the job related education, hours worked on the job, and the work processes required to be completed for a youth apprenticeship. All the data, is collected using geofencing technology and input from apprentices, making it easier for the employers and supervisors to monitor the apprentice participants and use it for validation at the end. Very similar to what my colleague did 20 years ago with his little black book. When we designed um, My Apprentice, um, it's, a, it's a, a brand new app and we wanted to design it based on four objectives. The first objective really is to provide apprentices roadmaps to under, help them understand what their apprenticeship program requirements are. It's very easy to, to understand what your classes are required for the apprenticeship, but sometimes it's very difficult to understand what work processes you have to learn to complete the apprenticeship. So really, um, the first objective when we were designing the, the app was to provide apprentices roadmaps to help them understand their requirements. The next objective was really to provide a mechanism for apprentices to document their achievements to prove competencies. You know, again, one of the, the hard things to do on an apprenticeship is when you're going to work and you're being asked to do these things is actually prove that you're actually competent in those areas. So we wanted my apprentice to be able to serve as a mechanism to help the apprentice document what they're learning and, and prove that, that they actually know what they're talking about. The third objective is to serve as an assessment tool for employers to help manage the apprentices and evaluate their performance at the end. Um, the way we wanted to use this objective is we definitely wanted to give access to the actual employers so they could see the information being entered by the apprentices and at the end of the apprenticeship actually use that information to assess them um, to award them a credential. In our case in Charleston all of our youth apprenticeships are registered with the United States Department of Labor so this is clear documentation that they completed everything that they needed to do to actually be awarded that national credential. And the fourth and final objective really is to serve as a mentoring platform for intermediaries, high schools, colleges, employers to help the apprentice be successful. Um, one of the most important aspects of an apprenticeship or what I feel makes it different is that, that mentoring tool. And we're blessed in Charleston to have so many wonderful partners, meaning high schools, employers, intermediaries, uh, economic developers, um, but sometimes it's hard to communicate. So really, um, the My Apprentice app enables anyone who wants to mentor their apprentice or help us mentor their apprentice access to that information and to help them get through the apprenticeship. So My Apprentice tracks three things. It tracks the job-related education. It actually tracks the on-the-job training. And it also tracks the number of work processes or competencies completed on the job. So again, I talked about one of the objectives of the My Apprentice app was to actually create roadmaps for the apprentice to understand what they're required to complete. So the first roadmap that we completed was a job related education. But you'll see right here that every occupation has the required job related education in, in the actual app for the apprentice to know. How does it track the JRE? 
the My Apprentice app, when an apprentice actually uses the app and they complete a course, what they'll do is they'll go in and they'll click the check mark, as you can see on the screen. That check mark will, will go from black to green and also can put the completion date you know, underneath the actual course. And when they actually complete the actual course, it will, you know, it will increase the percentage of JRE that they needed to actually complete the course. So at the, once they complete all of the courses on the app and click the green check mark, it will be 100%. So the apprentice will know that they've completed all the required JRE um, as required for their apprenticeship. The other thing that My Apprentice does, it, it, it tracks the hours worked on the job. In other words, it gives them a roadmap for it to see how many hours, months, and days that they've worked. If you actually look at this slide right here, you can see that it, it lists the name of the employer, the address of the employer, the wage of the employer, when they actually started their job, and it also clicks the um, the months, days, and hours that they've worked using some pretty cool technology I'm fixing to talk about. But the reason why this is important is because, you know, all of our apprenticeships are 24 months long. So really, um, that percentage sign, when they click, when they actually achieve the 24 months, um, they'll actually have 100% there. How does it track the actual OJT in hours? There's cool technology called geofencing technology, and you can actually click the next, the next link. Where actually, if an apprentice actually programs their phone for location services, it allows the app to actually access their location services on their phone. When they actually get to the job, the app will automatically clock them in, as you can see on the screen. And when they leave their job, based on leaving the region, it will automatically clock them out. So it automatically tracks their hours um, and actually loads it into the, the previous screen that I talked about. If they don't want to use the geofencing technology, they can also manually log the time in and out you know, using a, a login, log off option. Probably the, the main reason as to why we developed the My Apprentice app was what I was talking about earlier was to track the, the on-the-job training or the work processes completed on the job. Um, and that's really what the final roadmap is about. As you see right here, when the individual clicks the Compasses um, completed option, it lists a roadmap with the work process that they're required to learn on the job. It also lists whether it can be done on the job or in the laboratory setting. What it does is you see with the arrow that's pointing to it, every single time they click or complete a work process, it will list the number of times they did that over the two years. So how does it document the number of work processes? What it does is, or what it does is when you actually go into the app, um, we're gonna, we, when they come home for work, you know, they go to a, uh, their work and they, they complete a day's work, they come home and, they, and they, journal, they journal what they did. And how they journal really is very simple. They go into the app, click journal, and then they click new entry. And then what it's going to do is going to ask them a, a series of around 20 questions based on what their competencies are and if they did that at work. So if they answer yes to a question, it's going to automatically log into the OJT competency goals that they completed that. So over the course of an apprenticeship, they, they could list, you know, that they have completed a competency 500 times or 50 times or 20 times. And that's important because all the apprenticeship pro, um, programs here in Charleston are competency based. So one of the ways that we're showing our employers that our apprentices are achieving competency is that they're documenting that they did a required process that the, the employer required so many different times. So if you, if you did a process 50 times, you know, hopefully you're gonna be competent in that area. The other way that we're using My Apprentice to prove competency um, is other than recording the number of times that an apprentice does the work process, is the app will actually allow the apprentice to record what we call a talent showcase, meaning they can either video or audio record um, a required work process. They can explain it simply by doing a presentation like I'm doing, it will load into the app and go directly to the employer. Or if the employer allows it, they can get a fellow colleague to actually videotape them and um, demonstrating the actual skill. So really, um, it's a really cool concept to, to show the employer that they've not only did this 100 times, but they also are explaining in their words or through demonstration that they know how to do the competency that the employer is required. Um, the My Apprentice app also um, has the ability for the, the employer to assess um, the, um, the apprentice at the end of the two years. So really, as you can see, um, the app actually gives the employer access to generate consolidated reports for all the JRE, all of the hours, and also all of the competencies that they've completed, including access to the videos um, that the actual apprentice does. Um, and what it will do is actually give them a final competency assessment that when they complete it, will go directly to their apprentice so they'll know that they've achieved um, you know, success in the apprenticeship. The final tool that we use in My Apprentice really is what we call a mentoring platform. 
Um, I've talked a lot about apprentices and I've talked a lot about employers, but with our community partnership, um, we call it the Charleston Regional Youth Apprenticeship Program because it really consists of not only the college that serves as the intermediary and educator, but also 25 high schools, over 180 employers, and a, a lot of different economic development folks who actually have access. And as I said earlier, we'll provide access to anyone who actually wants to help us mentor these folks so they'll be successful. So if you actually look at this screen, you know, you can see what an employer would see in terms of it lists their apprentices so they can actually access and see all the information that I talked about. It actually, we actually give access to our faculty staff because we're going to award college credit um, for some of the work that they're doing on the job. So we'll be able to give this information to faculty who will be able to assess the information and actually award a grade um, if, if the student wants it and also if the employer wants it. And also we give access to our high schools because our high schools help us mentoring, uh, mentor the apprentices if they're having problems when they're getting through the apprenticeship program. So that's my apprentice. Um, you know, it, it's a wonderful tool that we've, we've started using this year um, and it's working really well for us. Um, it's pretty cool to be able to see uh, when an apprentice actually not only finishes a class, but actually can see when they're working and also what they're doing on the work so we can help guide and uh, mentor the actual employers to, to actually complete, um, you know, maybe they need to work on some other areas and anything. So it's a wonderful tool that is, is available out there and um, I'd like to thank you for your time.